Good afternoon and happy Palm Sunday. I am bundled up. It's a little chilly here. I'm sure it's not as chilly as I'm bundled up with, but I am because, you know, I'm 70 degrees inside, which the girls are perfectly content at that temperature. I've got my leg warmers on. My edema is off the charts today, and my blood pressure skyrocketed. I've been keeping my, my blood pressure's been low. It's been like in the 90s over 60. Not today. Not good. So I have a day of wellness ahead of me. <laughs> but no doubt we're going to sunset tonight. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be chilly, but it's going to be beautiful. Unless all of a sudden something changes. But it's a, the waves are pretty, pretty uh, rough out there today. Because <laughs> Carly decided she wanted to take a long walk this morning out there and I was in my nightgown with just this little jacket over it holy crap I was freezing so I'm kind of warming up from all that too which was hours ago but still I'm still not warmed up from it so I'm in 365 gifts every day is a gift right and it's number 100 so that means we've got 265 left in this book well what's left in this book because they're falling out so I'm passing them out. Adapt, adaptability is today's um, title. That's a hard one to say. Adaptility. Ab, huh, oh my goodness. Adaptability. Adaptability. There we go. Better. That's what's my speech with my brain since the blood clots is impaired. Certain things I can tell. It's just like, why can't I speak? Why can't I say this? So, never had issues before. Do not be, be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, verse 2. It is likely that your childhood memories include hours of molding colorful clay or dough into all sorts of shapes. We had one of those fuzzy pumpers that was like a barber shop, and so you'd crank it and it would grow hair, and then you could cut the hair. I mean, style it. And, uh, I guess you could. You could kind of. I don't know. It was interesting. It was fun, though. If you didn't like what you created, you could just mash it up and start over. Morphing the dough into something else altogether. Yep. I always had to make sure your hands were clean because that would get inside the Play-Doh. And I didn't like that. Perhaps you even worked with molds, forming all sorts of creative items. The dough was adaptable, able to change. That's how God wants his kids to be. When we're pliable, adaptable, he's able to shape and reshape us into his image. When we get off course... He takes us, much like a potter, would take the clay and begins again. Yes, he does. I'm sure once I got on this journey, it was like, thank the Lord she finally saw the light. That's my that's my thoughts on him. Finally, <laughs> getting me onto this path. <laughs> when people say, do you have a question for God? Yeah, I'd be like, so... Where you finally, like, she finally saw the light and she finally got her head out of her tail end. <laughs> I don't know. This is a conversation I have in my head that I'm going to have with him that when that day comes <laughs> in the flesh. I mean, we can have our conversations all day long when I don't see him. But when I do see him, it's going to be a whole different ballgame. I think I'll cry first, though. I think so. For what he's done for us, all of us. Um, when we get off course he takes us much like a potter would take the clay and begins again for me he held my hand today as you think about where you've been and where you're heading make up your mind to stay pliable in the potter's hand not in man's hand the potter's hand he will form you into someone, something beautiful if you just remain flexible and open to the process. That's the biggest, 
that would be my the biggest um, takeaway today. Remain flexible and open to the process. That is the biggest point of the of this devotion. That's what I'm and the journey with him of the. And then you get to the sailing, smooth sailing. I don't know. That's my own take on it. That's my own journey, how I felt. Maybe others have gone through, their journey is a little different than mine. I mean, everybody's going to have a different journey. But at the end of the day, we're all, we're all seeking the same thing. Heaven, him. Lord, thank you for not giving up on me. Truly. I want to remain adaptable, pliable in your hand. Mold me and make me, Father, into your daughter. You can be proud of. Amen. Now I'm trying to make him proud. I'm doing my darndest. And I'm almost up to 100,000 impressions. And uh, I, think, I think I went over 11,000 views. So... All those calls to Jesus. Gotta love that. I do. He does. Just saying. And you should too. So, stay tuned. I have more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.